Good evening. Good morning, America. It's midnight. Good morning. I'm afraid to turn on the boob tube. It's just, it's too crazy. Too, too crazy. Um, I wish we could solve our nation's problems like these corporations can solve their problems. But like corporations, we have guidelines, rules, rule of land, rules to help us, guide us along the way. But like the Constitution, It's bargained with. We have a president who took it upon himself to write law. That's not in the powers of the president. Um, son, I don't hate you. You know that. What did I tell you when I first met you? What did I tell you? I don't like your old, the way you approach and talk, you know. Too much is going on. I don't. All I see is harm. Thank you. But, it's time for you to forward what you got. You're in a position you can get your brother a job. A good job. It's time to talk to management and see about getting them in. They're taking chances on people from ASAP and Express. And I don't mean no offense, because y'all get very, very sensitive, very, very easily. No, but it, I don't understand people that aren't dressed to work. I, I, I never could understand that. And I have been instrumental in having people sent home, change clothes. What happens during your labor hours? You reflect the corporation, you reflect the government, whatever job you have, you reflect. If you're out there taking breaks and stuff, doing wrong, then what are you reflecting? It's not rocket science. Um, You're there. They need good people, and you know they need good people. For the Mexicans are not permanent. You are. You're of this community. Oh, they're here. And they're going to stay here. I hear a lot of talk about we are a melting pot. <laughs> Give me a fucking break. We are a melting pot. Well, that was true. It isn't now. Oh, and 
there was a lot of racism then, a lot. Uh, the Chinese immigrants were treated badly by their people who were in charge of supervising them to we Americans. We were very bad to the Chinese. We were horrid to the Mexican immigrants. Native Americans, I mean. But yet, all that wrong, all that blasphemy against humanity didn't teach you people anything. Look at the black Americans right now. The reason I stop saying nigga so much. <laughs> God dang it, after Obama, you'd be saying nigga every 24 seconds. Um, because it's not an awakening because everyone knows it. Um, but it's like, wow. I don't want to be a part of that. I don't want to be a part of using that word. I don't. And it took me a long time. I think a year or so after Obama, god dang it. Oh, he really disappointed America. That these people still think he's the greatest thing since sliced bread. Let me tell you something. I've had sliced bread because I baked it, a nice bread. And Mr. Obama is not better than a nice bread. Um, nothing is complicated like these drug problems y'all are having. Y'all are having. Because it's your government program that has failed as god dang bored are we gonna keep we're gonna build bridges right hillary so the cartels and everyone else can be keep bringing the drugs i saw something yesterday i think it was on youtube that tore me apart me gente yo vive algo Que la lágrima, ay Dios mío, como sufre. Cuántos meses para llegar a los Estados Unidos. Los niños. Los coyotes. Los hombres malos que son mexicanos. Madre y ore. Yo no quiero que ustedes sufren así. ¿no? no soy animal, no soy ustedes. Ustedes son como los negros. Los indios. Todos que han sufrido tanto. Pero han aprendido nada. Porque lo que camina no es de Dios. Mi gente sufre tanto. ¿Cómo no puedo rezar para ustedes? Pero aquí en los Estados Unidos, Estados Unidos nosotros sufrimos mucho también. En Norte Long Beach, mexicanos, latinos, no le querían que mi esposo trabajara con ellos porque era gringo. No maltrataron, él es americano. Le prometieron trabajo 
que era mentira. En el día de gracias también. Dios lo oportunidad para que nosotros sabemos que la gente latina mexicana son muy cabrones. Muy cabrones. Que el calvo, lo que yo siento por ustedes, ustedes no sienten por nosotros. ¿Qué tanto tenemos que hacer antes que ustedes son humanos? Humanos. Son como los negros. Ellos tienen razón. Razón. Pero así no se compone un mal. Matando. ¿Cómo se compone? Un mal. Aquí ustedes, mi gente, en la 200 es East Dog Street, aquí en West Point. Mexicanas, mentirosas, y con mi esposo. Yo no soy cualquiera. Yo no soy como ellos. Y la policía, hasta el mayadoro, mentiras. No. Reverend Samuel Rodriguez. Mexican to Mexican. Victim to perpetrator. You are a false prophet, and you are not a god. My people, you are like the black people. They have reason to be, but not to murder. Who the fuck do you think you are? To take something that God created and gave the gift of life. These officers have families. What happened? What is happening to black Americans is blasphemy to humanity. But what they're doing to one another, it don't make me wonder. It makes me know. Before you call yourself worthy, what is it that you give God and country? For community reflects your thugs, you bully other black people. No, this shit will stop. I understand there's small going on. It will be another night. Lost in sorrows. Silent prayers. Silent prayers. Silent tears. Today I was listening tonight on the, on the cell phone. Rahim, which is Mesocoria, which is mercy. And they walk the Holocaust. I said, God, why do I feel so much? And why do they not? Um, no, 
everyone has reason to be pissed off. Every motherfucking one has reason to be pissed off. You're treated like shit. Like shit. You're told you're no good. They tell you where you can live, where you can't live. You have the money. You're pissed. Then you're working, you got a nice car. You got a nice little sports car. You got a nice pad. Your threads are looking kind of, whoa, baby, you're looking good. You go to church. You pray every once in a while when you need something. Then what is missing in your life? That you are such motherfuckers. Such motherfuckers. What is it that you're looking for? My husband used to say, or would used to say, I feel like I'm, I have to catch up. Baby, you can never catch up, whether it's sleep. You can never catch up, because it's just illusions. Tomorrow will never arrive, and you will never see yesterday again. It's what you fuck now, is that what you, what you do now is what you in kiss hand to all, Lord Christ, our Jewish God. That is what you breathe into our brother's gift of repentance. And you do it daily. And you do it whenever the fuck you want. God gonna understand. Oh, my hands. If God understands. What the fuck is going on? If God understands. What the fuck is going on? We got teachers. Who deny shelter. For religious beliefs. I'm too old. Um, we got little children. So horny. So, I'm not happy to say it. So of Lucifer. They get up early to go. I tell you, these sons of bitches. No, baby. You ain't going to heaven. Uh, no, you're not going to heaven. So I want to know, where are you going? Mm -hmm. Let me get this coffee. Uh, where are you going? You're not going to heaven. Where are you going? You're not going to have your body no more. You're going to be dead. Um, I... On a comment they were talking about Noah's flood. Oh, there were other things that were documented. You know, it's like Joyce Myers and the burning bush. It says in the first sorrow, the blessed divine family to Jesus, to the prophet. Saint Simeon. Saint Simeon picked up 
the baby. And he held him up to the heavens and said, God, thank you for allowing me to live long enough to hope salvation. Now the divine family already knew God dang motherfucking roaches up. The divine family already knew what their child was, and that is the world's Jewish God. Okay. Then he turned to the divine family and he said to them, This child will bring in a religion of contradictions. A religion of contradictions. May it heart. A religion of contradictions. Then he said, This child will be the fall and rise of Israel. He's a Jew. He is the Messiah. Gracia. Leave her alone. Um, and then he turned to the Blessed Mother and said, your child will gift you seven stars. How can I debate heavenly when it is man's reason they cannot accept it? I can't. I won't even try. One question. Do you know anyone who has lived an eternal life? Is your mother still alive? How old are you? Is your grandmother, your grandfather, your uncle, your aunt? Where are they? What did they do? Just pup? What about all the joy we experience? Where's that gonna go? Ghosts are real. They leave imprints. Our life, our pace is real. But yet, real has an end to it, for it is of man. It real is spiritual. I take with me all the joy and all the sorrow. I leave the sin for God has forgiven me. He's made room for me in heaven. I will sit in a wide rock and not made of man. And decide what next. There is much. How do you say it? Stupid. There is. Oh shit, I gotta get ready. Uh, there's much stupid. I go with my husband because I know my husband. And I know what walks here because they've told me what just this morning. <laughs> Bitch, do you live where that black and white call is? And there's nothing you can do about it but take a picture and use it as testimony. I can do nothing. Nothing. But hand you the Holy Ghost. And that should be enough. For you to can take the Holy Ghost. Return. To wisdom. And learn who you are. 
and for God and country. Too many people say, well, I'm going to set it out. They just told me that a day ago. I said, no, you, you're going to set it out? Our country is no more. You're going to set it out? Y'all set it out. Uh, I read the comments and it's just like, wow, there's no hope. And I'm not going to um, change who I am, for you are failure. Failure. You do everything on emotion. Everything. Whether it's your job or whatever. Your home training. Is your wrong. Surprise, the other one. <laughs> I love your name. I was going to be a Peggy Sue. <laughs> I do love you. Or uh, a Bobby Joe. I love Bobby Joe. I remember of uh, those songs during that era of the 60s. But my boyfriend, Eddie Dumas, of Dumas Seafood in Palacios, Texas, on, at recess. <laughs> You look like a Nicole. It just stuck. But I was from the I'm from the South. Those are the names we have. Now take that name and do something with yourself. Was you gonna wait till it's all gone? Oh I should have. Dr. Oz can help you. A whole bunch of y'all. Get as a group. And then find you. And maybe you won't be such a bitch. You know what I mean? What you did to him. Not only is it unconstitutional. It's wrong. Morally, ethically wrong. So find you. I love your name. God dang it. When Orville told me your name, I said no. And I kept thinking, you know. Wow. A name is very important. So is the soul. Just think. Your power is over other people's livelihood. But your power is in change. Which begins with you. I agree 101% my people. I'm sure they suffer. But like the black people, out of all that suffering, they learn nothing. So, boss, uh, America, my heart goes out to you. Uh, though, <laughs> I want nothing to do with y'all. I mean, today we're two nice little girls. I, what am I supposed to say? Let's take a chance? Uh-uh. I'm 64. I want to live in Grayland Cottage eventually. I hope we get to rent this apartment up here. It's very close to everything, <laughs> including the whole home. But it don't matter. I have always been surrounded by those caliber of, of women. The only difference, I am with oil. Before, it didn't matter. Doug was high me. Oh, please. They were nothing, as they are now. So far, <laughs> today, fishermen, yeah, go America. It felt good, but I know it's y'all don't feel it. 
You don't feel it because I don't feel the passion in you. Um, y'all leave me the fuck alone. You need to find your Jesse tree. And I don't mean your branch. Your Jesse tree. Your Jesse tree. And whatever it is humanity has done to you to make you what you are. Like me, I am a product of what Orwell has made me during the time we're together. No, um... I have the right to say I don't like the way you are. I don't like how you hurt other people. I don't like the joy you get from the tear you give to those that you deem without value. I don't. Now these apartments, they're very thin wall, and I'll, I'll have to put in some some uh, storage. Uh, they have some yard in the back, it would be nice to plant some plants and stuff. Natural plants that are from Washington. Um, Just for a little while, because our intent is to go to Grayland. That's where I'm going to live. Uh, I need to be at the sea. And God dang it, I die and any son of a bitch cremate my body and put me in the sea. I will be your mermaid. Don't put me in that polluted water. Are you crazy? No. My shell returns. My shell, my body, will be returning to Israel. I've never been there. My shell will return to Israel within 24 hours. I don't know how we're going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I wish I could send Orville there, but you don't want to go there. <laughs> he wants to be cremated and put it in the polluted water, so whatever. America, you lost your passion. When you gave your want to something that can never be fulfilled. Baby, the Holy Ghost is in me. I want you to say it. The Holy Ghost is in me and he's waiting for you what are you going to do are you going to wait wait until it's too late the holy ghost is in me nothing you do nothing I will blow salt. I will be salty. But nothing you do say it. I I dance with demons and I don't mean the tango. <laughs> God forgave me. I walked in a cult. God forgave me. None of you motherfuckers got the balls to walk in a cult. And don't do it. I didn't. I survived. Because I turned to God. That's evil, baby. And God took me back. 
So don't make me more than I am. For you are what I am. But you are of... God dang, I gotta get ready to go. Anyway, listen. Leave me alone. Because you will. Just say, we get this apartment. And the blue place is an old wild woman. <laughs> At the shop and curl. <laughs> then down the street by the show about uh, welfare apartments. So, if I don't speak to you first, don't speak to me. Leave me alone. Wink, and I am behind the gate of Trinity in Grayland, Washington. Anyway, in grace of God, be blessed. Amen, amen. We got to get some weed. I'm fucking hurting. Uh, my son, <laughs> my wayward son. Anyway, it's not good weed. It's from Aberdeen. It's wish cop bullshit weed. And this state grows the best weed. We're going to have to go to Alma or whatever over there. Ain't that something? No, I'm growing my own motherfucking weed. I may even try it up here at the apartment and give it away, give the excess I don't use. Anyway, in grace of God, be blessed. Amen. Amen. And Black America. Before you point the finger. Nineteen a day. And those that I see that are employed, they're late to work, they're lazy, they cheat, they lie. Oh no. I tell my husband the best thing they can do is keep hiring and firing blocks until they find one that realizes, thank God I got a job. You want to feel that statistic? Fine, feel it. But you hire and fire. You like to work, you're gone, baby. That's the rule. Let's enforce it. It's like the Constitution. You late from break? Hey, baby. Well, over was three minutes late. <laughs> um. He's fighting demons. Anyway, it's it's not rocket science. It's like the Constitution. It's not fucking rocket scientists. It's not like you gotta go over there. Oh my God, we gotta ad hoc. We're gonna meet. I'm gonna bullshit. I'm gonna meet. We're gonna bullshit. You know, like government does. No, it's there in the URL. And we don't have to meet and have a kangaroo court and all that bullshit. Uh-uh. You don't show up to work and you don't call. Buddy, you ain't got a job. And that's what it is. These corporations are run by those that can't even run their lives. It's incredible. It's incredible. Anyway, um, this killing must stop. It must stop. Um, you hear the bells, Gomer? <laughs> They're little bells. I bought them in Aberdeen at Barraz and they were having the state sale. <laughs> it's not for you. Anyway, in grace of God, be blessed. In the midst of amends, 
You are the key. You are the solution. We all know the problems. We all know the wrongs. So therefore, I'm not the key. You are. In grace of God be blessed in the immense of amends.